In this video we show how to set up the CNC board and the list manager for use with the hands-free linear flow device. We'll start out by picking two programs to put into the list. You can drag them onto the screen, but they go in the rear area of the machine. On this machine that happens to be the N2 area. And then on the general selector we'll uh, choose the unloading device management and then we'll click on the enable panel loader management. And then we'll also turn on the electro spindle blower, which has nothing to do with the cycle, but we use that with nesting. And then we'll go and we'll hit the start button, and you'll see the red line move to the first line of the program, of the list. And then we're asked a question, is there a panel currently on the machine? Well, there's not, so we'll answer no. And then the pre-centering device starts its positioning cycle. Suction cup comes down, pulls the panel back, and pushes it over to the left against the reference pins. So we pre-position the panel in a known location, which presents, prevents us from having to hit the foot pedal when the cycle starts. The loading device comes over, suction cups pick up the panel, drag it onto the machine. And by the way, on the first program in the list, we are prompted to push the green uh, flashing button on the control panel to start the cycle. But after the first program, we don't have to do that. So the machine drops the panel, the vacuum turns on automatically, and the program starts its execution. Then you notice the scissor lift come up to the next position. There's a height sensor that tells it to stop. The pre-centering device starts pre-centering the next panel. And we have a test program that runs very fast, so we'll slow the uh, program execution down to give the pre-centering device time to position the next panel. So now, here's what happens if we stop the program during the execution for whatever reason. We hit the stop button, we hit the e-stop, something's wrong and we stop the, the program. When we restart it, then we're asked the same question again. Is there a panel on the machine? Well now there is, so we answer yes. And then we have a question, do you want to restart the panel or the program with the panel on the machine? If we answer no, then the machine will evacuate the panel on the machine and load a new one. We may, we may do that if there was something wrong with that panel. Now notice also we have to press the unload consent button to tell the machine that the unloading table is clear, otherwise the machine waits for us to push that button. So we've unloaded a panel, maybe a damaged panel, the wrong panel, whatever. And we're going to run the first program in the list again. So you notice the red line is still on the first line of the, of the list. And we're going to run that program. Meanwhile, the pre-centering device is positioning the next panel. And we'll simulate another problem again. Let's say that we have to stop the program again for whatever reason. And when this time when we restart the program, again we'll get the question to ask, is there a panel on the machine? And we'll say that there is a panel. And this time we'll say, yes, let's restart the program with the panel on the machine. We might do that if we thought there was something wrong or if someone stepped on the mat or for whatever reason we had to stop the program execution in the middle and restart from the beginning. So note by the red line in the list that the program, the machine is still running the first program in the list. So now it finishes. We'll press the consent button for it to unload. And the machine will load a new panel unload the parts from the first line of the list and then it will start executing the second program in the list. Now pay attention to what happens to the execute and draw check boxes in the list. They turn off to indicate that the first program in the list is, is completely finished. So if for whatever reason we have to stop the list again and we restart it, it will start with the second program uh, so that we don't run the first program again.